So hey guys, welcome back to the part 2 of the Mocha Pro series. In this part, we will see the various different ways you can track and insert a logo or image in any surface in Mocha Pro. So without further ado, let's see how it's done. To track and insert a logo, I have selected a footage where our main objective is to track and insert the logo in this part of the bag, where our surface is moving consistently and we can see various motion like translations, scale right here and a little bit of rotation and mainly perspective. We will see the various three different ways in which we can track and insert logo. In this part, we will use the full potential of Mocha Pro to see the various different ways we can track and insert logo. So let's start this by adding the Mocha Pro effect to our footage. For this one, I'm going to use the Pro version, not the AE version. If you're watching this series for the first time, please consider watching the first part of the series, which will help you understand most of the basics of Mocha plugin. So I have applied the Mocha Pro, let's open it. Now we are inside Mocha Pro, as I said earlier, we'll be discussing the three different ways. And the first way is going to be the basic one which is almost similar to the same thing that we explained in the part 1 of the series. First, let us create a spline around where we want to track. For this one, the surface of our bag is the area where we want to track. So let's create a spline around the area. If you want to add points in between, you can always use this option and add points in between. Let's press Ctrl A and sharpen all of our edges. And don't forget to turn on the perspective option inside the motion panel right here. And let us track forward. And our tracking has been finished. And we can see majority of our points have been drifted from the place. So let's rectify it and track it backward. Okay, now we can see all of our tracking points are staying in place. And now let's place our planar surface. This is exactly where we are going to insert our logo or whatever image you want. So let's place it exactly where you want to insert the image. And if you are not sure whether you have placed the planar surface in the right perspective, you can enable this option which will bring up the grid panel where you can verify your perspective and adjust the planar surface according to it. Okay, now let's see. Our planar surface is sticking to the point and all of our points are in place. Now that our tracking has been done, let's come to the insert panel right here. And in the insert clip, let's first check by inserting logo of the Mocha Pro and let's verify our tracking and the planar surface one more time by using the logo option which will bring up the Mocha Pro logo to test whether our tracking is successful or not. Let's place it. Fast forward the video and you can see the logo is staying in place without any drift. That means we are good to go. From the insert clip select the option import from here which will open this panel and you can browse whatever picture you want to place. And select whichever logo you want, click it and click open and if you want you can verify various other options, the color settings and different things and if you are good to go just click import. And you can see we have inserted the logo to our surface. Now let's see by playing it forward. Let's hide all of our UI settings and you can see our logo is staying in place without a little bit of drift. And inside the insert panel you can see various other options like the grid. Let me just turn back on all of our UI options and you can see the grid options. If you think your image is a little bit distorted and want to warp your image manually, you can use this option to warp it. For this one, I'm not going to use it because this is basically a flat surface and we don't see any of the displacement or warps. Let's press Ctrl Z and undo all of our changes and let's unselect it. And you can see various other options like feathering the edges and locking the perspective. Let's lock it all and you can feather it all at once. And you can see transform position. If you want, you can transform it using this panel for the precise transformation. If you are satisfied with the result tracking and everything else, you can just click this button or just directly close it and you will see a pop up whether to save it or not. Let me just save it and let's come back to our Mocha Pro. And inside After Effects you can see although we have placed our logo, it's not visible in the After Effects. So in order to see that you have to expand the module renders option and from the module option you have to select the insert option. And in this one you can see two different insert options. We'll discuss both of them. 
first of all let's see what is insert composite select the insert composite and you can see nothing happens that is because we haven't selected the render option yet so just click the render option and you can see our logo is in after effects and it's visible you can play it forward and verify one more time if your tracking is all done perfectly or not so that was the insert composite option the problem with the insert composite option is that the logo is directly applied to your main video. That means you cannot make any further adjustment to the logo alone. If you still want to make any adjustment, you have to make adjustment in all of your video that will affect the entire clip, not the logo alone. That's where the insert cutout come to help. If you select the insert cutout option, you can see that the entire video goes black and you can only see the logo. So before doing that, just unselect the render, first duplicate your clip and you can see we have a duplicate clip. In our main clip, if you want, you can hide the Mocha Pro effect or just leave it as it is and come to our duplicated clip and from the module renders, you have to select the insert cutout option and just click render. And like that, you can see you have inserted the logo to your surface and the logo is in a whole separate space that means if you want you can just pre-compose this layer moving all attributes into the new composition and you can come inside the composition and in order for the reference purpose if you want you can copy this footage paste it inside it and behind this you can rename this as bg if you want and now you can work with any of the composition settings to make your image more blend with the background without affecting the main clip that is the main purpose of the insert cutout option. Okay, now if you want, you can add some of the composition effects. Let me add a displacement map. So let's select our background as the displacement map layer and play with the displacement settings. And just like that, I have added some of the composition effects and made it look a little bit more good. Now let's come to our main composition. Let's see how it looks now. Actually the white logo was looking a bit off so I selected a different logo. For this one I have selected this black and white logo. As you can see it is not entirely filling the screen and it is a lower size photo. When we open it you can see that it is not completely filling up as it used to do before in that white image. So that now let's see how to use this transform panel to align this image exactly to the surface. You can see various options like position, XY, rotation, scale, shear and everything. Let's adjust this scale first. And like that we have placed our new logo in that surface and use the transform panel to adjust our image. Now let's save the Mocha Pro and go back to After Effects. And you can see our new logo has been applied but the black portion is missing. Don't worry that is because the effects we have added earlier to adjust with the white image. Let's hide it and come to the extract option again, reset it, scroll down and we can adjust the option again. And like that we have easily replaced our logo and adjusted it again. Now let's come to our main composition and run a verification if we have messed up anything or our footage is ready to be exported. And like that you can see our logo has been inserted successfully and is placed in the surface without any drift or any other artifacts. That was the first way of tracking and inserting a logo into any surface. Now let's insert the logo in the same surface in other different ways using Mocha Pro. For this one let me hide the first one. Let's bring it down and this was the main video clip that we have tracked and inserted the logo and for the second way of doing it if you already have the tracking data with you you don't have to open the mocha pro again instead you have to collapse the module renders tab and expand the tracking data panel and from this one you have to create tracking data and in this one you can see the various different export option you can select any of those you want and for this one i am selecting the corner pin which support motion blur and you can see another option for the layer export too before using the layer export option, the logo we have to replace in the surface has to be present in the timeline. For that, let me go to the project section and import the logo into our timeline. And you can see I have dragged the logo to the timeline. But for inserting logo in this way, the logo has to be of the same size of your parent composition. In order to do that, first pre-compose your logo and move all attributes to the new composition and if you want you can add a solid behind your logo for the reference purpose to fill the frame 
and adjust your logo in that way that it entirely fills up the composition. In order to do that you can right click your logo come to the transform panel and you can select the fit to composition option and because this image file was little bit larger but the image is only up to this size you can manually adjust its transform properties let's adjust its scales likewise you have to fill the image or the logo to the entire composition and after all your adjustment, please make sure to hide this reference solid layer that you have just made. Now come back to your main composition and hide the logo for now. And from the layer export option, now you will see the logo that you have just created. Select that logo and click apply export. And you have to unhide the logo layer. And you can see our logo layer has been successfully inserted to our surface. And you can see it's been successfully tracked also without any much further efforts. And like the previous one, if you want, you can add various composition effect to blend that logo much perfectly to the background. And that was all about the second way of how to insert logo using Mocha Pro. And that was all about the second way of how to insert logo in a surface. Now let's go to the third way of how to insert a logo using Mocha Pro. For this one, let's hide all of our previous works and bring it down. And if you want, you can delete all of the keyframes. Anyway, we will be creating a newer one. For this one, like the previous two ways, we cannot do it directly from the previous tracking data. So you have to re-enable the Mocha Pro and go inside the Mocha. Before going that, make sure that your host resolution is set to full and click Mocha icon to launch the Mocha. And inside the Mocha, you can see our previous effect is already showing here. So let's come to insert, uh, select the layer and select the insert layer, insert clip to none. For this one, let's hide our planar surface for now and zoom in, come to the track panel and you can see one more option called mesh that I said earlier we will use later part in this video and this is that part. For you have to select the mesh and click generate mesh. If you're okay with it, you can go with this automatic generation of the mesh. But if your surface is little bit intensive one that it is having much of displacements and warping effects, you can select the uniform option and click generate mesh. If it is showing some of the glitches, just clear the mesh and generate it one more time and you'll be good to go. But for this effect, the automatic one is much perfect. I'll just create generate mesh. And before doing the third way of inserting a logo, I would like to say that for this surface and for this particular specific footage, this way of doing is not recommended because the option I am going to show now is totally not meant to do that purpose for this kind of footage. And in the later part of this video, I will tell you for which kind of footage is this particular way meant for. So for now, I will just show you what I am going to do. Select the automatic generation mode. If you want, you can clear mesh and generate one more time and just track forward. And like that you can see we have tracked our surface using the mesh. And the tracking and mesh is looking so far so good without any drift. Now you have to come to the stabilize option and click mesh war. And select unwar. Now you have to select the show planner and expand it to the entire screen. Now our work in Mocha Pro is done. Now let's click save and close our Mocha Pro and come back to After Effects. Now for this one we don't need the tracking data as I said earlier so I am going to delete all of the tracking data keyframes. Let's expand it and collapse it. And in order to insert logo using the third way that is this trick we have to import the logo to our timeline one more time. Let's do it manually one more time. But for this time there is no requirement to fit your logo to the entire screen. Instead you have to manually align the logo to the surface where you have to track for one time. Transform it and align it to the surface where you have to place your logo. And when you are satisfied, just right click it and pre-compose it. Moving all attributes to the new pre-composition. And from the main video layer where you have your tracking data and information, you have to copy the Mocha Pro effect and paste it to your new pre-composed layer. And from this one you have to select the module stabilize warp and click render. And when you play this you can see our logo has been successfully tracked and placed in the surface. And as I said earlier this way of inserting a logo is not meant for this kind of footages. 
where there is no displacement or any other distractions in the surface. This way of inserting a logo or image is mainly used in place where you have to insert the logo or anything to your skin where there is many of the displacement or some of the designs to your t-shirts or any other clothes where there is so many displacement, warping effects and many other. And not only this much there is one more way of doing it but it is totally different and totally not meant for inserting logo especially for this one. So for the sake of explaining to you about that effect I'll be using the same footage for explaining that. For this one we don't have to again go inside the mocha pro or anything. You can see that we have already applied the stabilize work but for now I am just disabling the effect you can see now it is not tracked anymore. Just copy your main video clip go inside the pre-composed layer that we just made now and paste it there. Just bring the video layer under your logo layer and inside this one you have to expand the module renders and from the module you have to select the stabilize and warp and click render. For taking a preview let me hide this logo layer so that you can get a better understanding of what that stabilize and warp means. Now you might have got an idea of what this stabilize and warp really means which stabilize the surface as it is to the screen without any motion and you can place whatever you want in that area. Let me just delete any effect ok there is no effect in the logo and you can see our surface is not moving which means that you can place whatever you want in that area without giving its own tracking data. And let's come back to our main layer and let's enable it and in the mocha pro effect inside the pre compose layer in our main composition you have to change the module from whatever that is selected to stabilize warp and don't forget that inside our pre composition we have selected the stabilize unwarp and inside the main composition in the pre compose layer we have to select the stabilize warp effect and click render. Now you can see our logo is been perfectly tracked but you can see various artifacts in our video in this portion. That is because as I said earlier this kind of effect is totally not meant for this purpose or to insert logo in this kind of footages. Now let me show you where this effect is mainly used. And this kind of the footage was I was talking about earlier where you have to apply the stabilize option or use the stabilize option to insert logo or whatever you want in a video or a footage. You can see this is a cloth and you can see many displacement in this clothes and the cloth is moving a little bit. So I have already applied the effect to show you let me just uh, unhide it. Now you can see I have already applied the effect and when you go to the effect controls you can see I have applied the stabilize warp and inside the pre-compose layer I have applied the stabilize and warp layer. And inside the pre-composition layer you can see our video layer is not moving and I have just simply placed my logo there and just came back to my main composition and applied the stabilize warp effect. And if you have placed a logo or any image for your testing purpose you can always change it by opening the same image inside of the photoshop and let me just make a rough drawing around these surfaces to show you how it works and let's press ctrl s and make sure to open the same image that you are using in after effects and when you go back to the after effects you can see the effect is automatically applied in there and when you go back to your main composition you can see our effect has been successfully applied and that is where you have to use the stabilize unwarp and warp effect and because the footage and tracking was just for a rough demonstration purpose i haven't made much work in it if you want you can use various composition tricks to match this layer excellently with the background. That's it for the part 2 of the Mocha Pro series. I hope you have learned something useful today and if you have any question, suggestion or feedback drop a comment below and I'll do my best to reply to everyone. And this channel isn't just about Mocha Pro, we'll also explore other Boris FX plugins like Continuum Sapphire along with tools from other developers too. So stay tuned for more exciting contents. If you have made it this far, thank you for watching. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the next part. And that's it for today guys. See you in the next one. Until then, have a creative day.